Hey guys, today we are going to look at identifying transformations from coordinates. We're going to answer the question, how do I identify transformations from coordinates? So let's start with dilations. To create a dilation, coordinates are multiplied by the scale factor. So to identify dilations from coordinates, you are going to look for a multiplication or division pattern throughout all the coordinates. The algebraic rule for a dilation is scale factor times x, scale factor times y. And it can be found, your, your scale factor can be found by doing new over original of corresponding points. So let's take a look at this dilation here. My original A point is at 3, 4, and my new A point is at 6, 8. So to go from 3 to 6, I would multiply by 2. And to go from 4 to 8, I would also multiply by 2. So my pattern is to multiply by 2, which means that my scale factor is 2. And if you wanted to verify, you could do new divided by original. So like 6 divided by 3, that's going to get you 2. And 8 divided by 4 is also going to get you 2. So I know my scale factor is 2, so that means that my rule is 2x, 2y. Okay, next transformation we're going to look at is translations. To create a translation, the coordinates are added or subtracted by the amount translated. So to identify translations from coordinates, you're going to look for an addition or subtraction pattern throughout all the coordinates. The algebraic rule for a translation is x plus or minus a, y plus or minus b, where a is the amount translated right or left, since you're adding or subtracting that 2x, and B is the amount translated up or down since you're adding or subtracting that from Y. So let's look at this rule right here. I know that it is a translation. So that means that I am adding or subtracting. My Y's are staying the same. Both of my Y's are fours, but my X's are changing. So I want to figure out what I'm adding or subtracting here since it's a translation. So to go from three to five, that means I added two. So our pattern is that we add two to x. So my rule is x plus two y. Next transformation we're gonna look at is reflection. So to create a reflection over the x or the y axis, one of the coordinates changes signs. To identify reflections from coordinates, you are going to look for that sign change in one of the coordinates only for reflections. So the algebraic rule for reflection over the x-axis is x opposite y, and a reflection over the y-axis is opposite x, y. So we're just going to be looking for one of those signs changing. So let's look at this example here. I can see that my x's are changing signs. So my x's are opposite. So that means that my rule is opposite x, y, because my y's stayed the same. Last transformation we are going to look at is rotation. So to identify rotations, these are probably the trickiest ones. You wanna look for two main things. The first thing you'll look for is one sign changing and swapped X's or Y's, or both of the signs changing, because these are our rules for rotations about the origin. 90 degrees clockwise and 270 degrees counterclockwise we do y opposite x, 180 clockwise and counterclockwise, you just change both of the signs, and then 270 clockwise and 90 degrees counterclockwise are opposite y, x. So let's look at this rotation example here. I go from 3, 4 to 4, negative 3. So I can tell that my x's and y's flipped. I did have 3, 4, now I have 4, 3, and then in addition to that, my original x value of 3 went to a negative 3. So my x's and y's flipped and I had an opposite x. So that rule would be switching the order of my x's and y's, so making it y, x, 
and then changing the sign of that original x value. Okay, let's look at some examples now. So number one says point A was dilated about the origin to create point A prime. Write a rule to describe the dilation that resulted in A prime. So I know that this is a dilation. So I am looking for what we multiplied by. I am looking for the scale factor. And I can find the scale factor by doing new over original of corresponding points. So 3 over 9, I know that that simplifies to 1 third. If you were not sure, you could double check in the calculator by doing 3 divided by 9 and hitting the fraction button. There you go. So the rule for this dilation would be 1 third times x, 1 third times y. All right, next example says point B was rotated about the origin to create point B prime. Write a rule to describe the rotation that resulted in point B prime. So in rotations, I'm looking for swapped positions of X and Y, or I'm looking for a sign change to both X and Y. It looks like the order of my numbers did not change. Like I have two in the X value spot and four in the Y value spot on both of these, but my signs did change. So the rule for this rotation would be opposite x, opposite y. Next one, point C was translated to create point C prime. Write a rule to describe the translation that resulted in point C prime. So since it was translated, I know that I'm looking for addition and subtraction. So let's look at our x's and y's separately. So from x, in my x's, I go from 0 to 2. So that means I added 2 to go from 0 to 2. And then in my y's, I went from 4 to 3, which means I subtracted 1. So my rule for this would be my x value of 0. I added 2 to it to get that new 2, to get that new x value of 2. And then my y value, the original y value was 4, and I subtracted 1 to get that new y value of 3. So there is my rule for this translation. Okay, now in these next three, they're not going to tell us what the transformation is. We're going to have to look at the patterns that we see in the table to see if we can figure out the rule for ourselves. So it says a triangle is graphed on a coordinate plane. The table shows the original vertices and the new vertices after a transformation is applied. Write a rule to describe this transformation. So I can see that the numbers are changing. From A, I go 12 to 16, and then 6 to 8. And then my B values also go from 12 to 16 and then three to four. So I'm not adding anything the same there because in um, my original A had a Y value of six and then I went to eight, that would have been adding two. And then in my original B, I had three and I went to four, that would have been adding one. So I know this is not a translation. I don't see any signs changing. It's not a reflection or rotation since there's no signs changing. So that means that this is a dilation. And I'm just going to double check that it's a dilation by checking for that scale factor throughout the points by doing new over original. So 16 divided by 12 looks like I get 4 thirds. I should get the same thing when I do 8 divided by 6. And I do. Let's check with the next set of coordinates. I already know that 16 divided by 12 is 4 thirds. And 4 divided by 3 is also going to be 4 thirds. And then on the last set of points, the scale factor would be 12 divided by 9, which is also 4 thirds. So I checked all my points. I know the scale factor is 4 thirds. So that means my rule here is 4 thirds times x, 4 thirds times y. All right, next one 
I have a transformation happening to a triangle again. Here's my original points. Here's my new points. So this time I am just seeing some signs changing. My X values looks like those are staying the exact same, but my Y values are changing signs. So when I just change the sign of one of my coordinates, that is a reflection. And the rule for this would be X, since my X's stay the same, and then opposite Y, since I changed the sign of my Y values. Okay, last one, I have another triangle that's being transformed. Here are my original points. Here are my new points. I do not see any sign changes happening. So that is gonna rule out reflections and rotations. If you notice, my Y values are staying the same. So that's gonna rule out a dilation because in the dilation, everything has to change. So that leaves me with a translation. So that means something is happening in my X values. My X values are the ones that are changing. So let's see if we can find the pattern. To go from zero to 10, I know this is a translation, so what would I add or subtract to go from zero to 10? I would add 10. 10 to 20, same thing, we would add 10. 20 to 30, same thing, we would add 10. So this is a translation and I added 10 to my X values, so I moved right 10, and then my Y stayed the same. 